Comfort staples, pizza, burgers, finger food appetizers, all have a surprising twist at this Wolverine restaurant. The Thirsty Sturgeon is known for its creative combinations like the Reuben pizza and the mac and cheese burger sounds yeah. good. Yeah, on the banks of the Sturgeon River, the restaurant brings in diners by kayak, by snowmobile, by foot, and of course by car. Tonight, Jenny Bouchel takes us inside the kitchen. Okay, paper towel on paper hand. Paper towel ready. <laughs> I think we're ready. Okay, so. Commence. With bites that are big, bold, and a little wacky, this grub is exactly what you want down the old hatch. That is hearty, yummy, just warm your belly, good, whoa. It's just two minutes off Highway 75, tucked into the quaint town of Wolverine. This is the Thirsty Sturgeon, and we're heading inside the kitchen. Make sure we have enough sauce on there. The juicy story begins with the husband-wife team, Dave and Cheryl Marsh. Dave, a former golf pro, says the story began near the green. It really started when I was at Indian River Golf Club. I was there for 10 years, and... Um, uh, we would cook a meal every year, just her and I would give the staff the night, night off and we'd invite the membership and she and I would just cook the meal. And every time we'd do it, they would say, well, you two have to open a restaurant. And we'd say, why, you guys, you're crazy. So we did it. We did it. And, and you're uh, crazy. And, it was, yeah, we are. <laughs> and the crazy that tops it all is the menu. Creative and intentional, Cheryl dreams up the dish while Dave executes. Who loved a Reuben so much to say, you know what, let's throw it on the biggest piece of bread we can find, a pizza dough? That would be me. The Reuben pizza starts with a homemade dough floured and tossed daily. This is 12 pieces of pizza, so uh, depends on how hungry you are. I mean, one man can eat one, <laughs> and then it could feed a family. Next goes the house Thousand Island dressing, Swiss cheese, sauerkraut, corned beef, and Cheryl's famous sweet and spicy pickles. And then we're going to place the pizza in the oven and let the magic happen. Minutes later, the crust is buttered, cut, and into the gullet. I bring sexy to pie. <laughs> sexy to pie. Very nice, Cheryl. Thank you. And remember those sweet and spicy pickles? They reappear all over the menu, including inside their top seller, the Reuben ball. Take those pizza toppings rolled into flour, egg wash, panko breadcrumbs, and deep fried. I didn't know I wanted a Reuben ball, yet alone that it existed, but you really want a Reuben ball. <laughs> but outside the world of Reuben, they're stacking up the thirsty burger. Get this patty off here. We're going to throw it on the grill for just a second. It's combined with house smoked pork, homemade Carolina sauce, toppled onto a brioche bun with coleslaw and Cheryl's pickles. Do people cut this? <laughs> They do. They we do? we do not do half burger orders though. It's too sloppy. We used to call it the pork and the and the cow burger, and we change it obviously oh. to incorporate our name into it. But uh, yeah, combining the two meats together is just fantastic. Stop that! Oh man! And from the thirsty burger to the thirst quenching drinks, people are coming to taste by all modes of transportation. We we have kayakers, we have uh, tubers, we have ATV trails. Um, we are the main trail for um, Trail 7 from between Gaylord and Mackinac. We're 50 yards from that. Um, there are days when we'll have 110, 120 snowmobiles in the parking lot. Um, so everybody and their brother's coming. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, we're excited about it. Reporting inside the kitchen, I'm Jenny Bouchelle.